The Dolly Zoom Effect. For this effect to work, you need a clip that's actively zooming into the screen. From the start of your clip, go over to Effect Controls and click the stopwatch icon for scale and position. Now move to the end of your video and click the keyframe buttons here to add two more keyframes. Click on this arrow to move back to the first set of keyframes, then adjust the scale and position so that your main subject is in the same location as the ending frame. Color Isolation Zoom Animation To begin, double-click your preview screen and click and drag the blue circle to where you want the zoom effect to target. Now go over to Effect Controls and click the stopwatch icon next to Scale and Rotation. Move ahead 6 frames by hitting the right arrow key and change the value of Scale to 140. Go over to Effects, find Lumetri Color and add it to your image clip. Back under Effect Controls, go down to Lumetri Color and select the Pen Tool and begin drawing an outline around your subject until you've traced all the way around. Check off the Inverted option, then scroll down and click the stopwatch icon beside Saturation and lower the saturation value to 0. Now move the timeline slider to the start of your clip and click on Reset Parameter to restore the saturation. To correct the hard edges of our mask, increase the feather and expansion settings until it looks properly blended. Move your timeline slider ahead 5 seconds and change your scale value to 150 and your rotation to minus 2. You can also add a sound clip to increase the dramatic effect of your zoom. Scrolling Timeline Year Animation To begin, Select your Type tool and go over to your preview screen and start typing in your text. Now click and highlight your text and go over to Essential Graphics and make whatever changes to the text that you want. Go over to Effects and find Gaussian Blur and add it to the text layer. Now go to Effect Controls and from the start of your clip, click the stopwatch icon next to Position and Blurriness. Move your timeline slider ahead 3 seconds, then start adjusting the horizontal position of your text to the left until you reach the very last one. Now click the keyframe button for blurriness again, then move your timeline slider to the center of the two keyframes and change the value of blurriness to 200. Expand the drop down for blur dimension and select horizontal, then click the rectangle mask under opacity. Adjust your mask so that it covers a single year in the center of your screen, then increase feather to 100. Now click and highlight both position keyframes and right click ease in, then do it again but select ease out this time. How to put text behind moving objects. Let's begin by creating our text. Select the type tool and click on your preview window. Type in your text, then go to essential graphics and make whatever adjustments to the text that you want. Now extend the duration of your text layer to match your video layer. Duplicate your video layer by holding alt and clicking and dragging to video layer 3 above the text layer. Go over to effects and search for color key and drag it onto the top video layer. With the top video selected, Go to Effect Controls and scroll down to Color Key. Select the little dropper tool, then go over and click on the area behind your subject, but please note, this effect will only work if your foreground subject is a different color than your background. Finally, adjust the color tolerance and edge thin until your text moves behind the subject, but not so far as to remove parts of your text. Parallax Effect Set the duration of your clip to 6 seconds. Then go over to Effect Controls and increase the scale of your photo to 120. Now duplicate your clip by holding Alt and clicking and dragging above. With the top clip highlighted, go over to Effect Controls and select the Pen tool under Opacity. Begin drawing an outline around the subject that you want to isolate and continue going around until you reach the original point. Now go over to Effect Controls and change the Mask Feather to 75 and Mask Expansion to 25. Click the stopwatch icon for scale. Then move your timeline slider to the end of the clip and change the value to 140. Move your timeline slider back to the beginning and highlight the bottom clip. Then go over to Effect Controls and click the stopwatch icon for scale. Now move your timeline slider to the end of the clip and change the value to 100. 